Okay, everybody. Um, I am sitting in my car out in Riverhead for the waiting to get into the theater for the final performance of uh, A Christmas Carol. So I figured now's as good as time as any to give my Godzilla minus one review. Um, saw it yesterday, and here are my thoughts. This is a great film. Um, not only is it a great Godzilla film, it's a great film in general. And I, and I need to stress that you don't have to be a Godzilla fan to like this movie. It certainly helps, but um, any chance you get to see a well-made film, take it. Because there's not too many of them anymore. Um, the story is really good. And unlike most Godzilla films, you actually like the human characters. Um, this is the first Godzilla film released by Toho since 2016's Shin Godzilla, which I'll mention that later on in the, in the video. Um, the movie is directed, and forgive me for probably destroying these Japanese names, but I'm going to do the best I can with it, so you know, I'm not a linguist, so give me a break. Um, the director is Takusi Yamazaki. Um, the film stars Ryan Kosuki Kamiki and Miramini Hamabi. It's rated PG-13 and the runtime is two hours and five minutes. Um, there is some monster violence, obviously, so uh, consider that if you're going to bring a 10-year-old to it. Might be a little too much for them to handle, but anyway... Um, such a well-made film. Um, Hollywood should take note on how good this movie is because they made this on a $15 million budget and the special effects look better than most $100 or $200 million budgets. So Hollywood, take notice on what Toho is doing and follow their lead and give us a good story with good special effects and don't spend $200 million on a film because you're going to crash and burn. Um, at present time, this film has grossed $42 million bust in internationally and domestically. So on a $15 million budget, it's done $42 million. Toho is, must be jumping for joy. Um, most Godzilla films, when they're released in the States, they do maybe, you know, four, six, maybe eight million and they're gone. But uh, this is at uh, $42 million internationally. I think the international number is $27 million and in the States it's, it's um, $21 million or $22 million. Uh, they just increased the theatrical run, so if you thought you were going to miss it, it's it's in the film, it's in the theaters for another I think three or four weeks. Check out Godzilla minus one. Now, how good is it? Um, I give it three and a half stars out of four. Um, the action is fantastic. The performances by the actors are great. The CGI is fantastic, fantastic, and Godzilla has never been scarier. It's all in the face. Just look at his face. He looks like a lunatic. Um, my one criticism on the film, and don't let this dissuade you from seeing it, but Godzilla's not in it enough. Um, when Godzilla came out in 2014 from Legendary, um, one of the criticisms of that movie was that Godzilla wasn't in it enough. And it's the same thing with this one. Godzilla is not in it enough. Um, the destruction scenes are great, but there's just not enough. Um, but that doesn't dissuade this from being a very good film because here's what this director has done. He has taken these human characters who thankfully are not dubbed. It is subtitled, so you're going to have to walk and chew gum at the same time. You're going to have to watch and read. So if you can't do that, don't waste your time. Um, he has taken these human characters and... It's so well done that you actually like them, okay? When is the last time you have watched a Godzilla film or a kaiju movie? It doesn't necessarily have to be Godzilla, and you actually like the human characters. You're almost okay with the fact that Godzilla's not in it that much. Now, the scenes he, he is in are fantastic, but once again, not enough Godzilla. Um, the storyline is based on um, a Japanese kamikaze pilot who chickens out. And I can't say I blame him because I would do the same thing. 
He chickens out and he takes his plane back to his base on Odo Island. Right, that Odo Island. And claims to have mechanical problems with his aircraft. Of course he doesn't. And the island is attacked by some kind of dinosaur. Um, this dinosaur obviously is Godzilla, but it's in another form. Uh, this Godzilla kills just about everybody except for two people. And then you don't see any monsters for a while. And they flash forward, flash forward to the bikini atomic bomb tests. The bomb goes off in the water and then you see an eye under the water being affected by the radiation and then Godzilla roars and that's basically how Godzilla is created. Um, time goes forward and then Godzilla finally makes his appearance. Um, Japan is absolutely destroyed at this point. Tokyo is a shambles from the, the bombings of World War II. People are basically living in wrecked homes and if they have a home at all, they're lucky. Um, Godzilla comes ashore and does his thing. He's pissed off because he's all burned up from radiation. And what the cool thing about this is, is that Godzilla can, Godzilla self repairs his wounds. There's a scene where they, where they blow up a, a, a mine in his mouth and, um, there's a gigantic hole in his face and he's just laying there and all of a sudden you just see it resort back to form and, and it's just fantastic CGI. Um, so that's really cool. He battles some ships. They hit him with shells, and he and he comes and his his uh, his skin just reverts back to normal. Um, great scenes, just fantastic. Um, it's a two hour and five minute runtime, um, and also part of this film that definitely subtracted from the experience was the Regal movie theater in Deer Park itself. I saw it in this 4XD thing. Um, going into it, I thought it was a new form of, of visual, you know, effects, like, a, you know, an enhanced 3D. But what this was, was the, you sit in these chairs, which were like concrete, and they move with the, whatever scene they're in in the movie. Like if it's in, in the ocean, the seats are like moving, like it's it's moving like on a wave. Or if there's a scene where there's rain, you, water comes down from the ceiling. Or a gunfire, they flash strobe lights in a the theater. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, it definitely uh, hurt the filming experience, the film-going experience. Not the movie, but the film-going experience. So if you're going to see this film, see it in 3D IMAX, IMAX not this 4XD garbage. Totally uh, threw, threw me for a loop, but I get motion sickness, so I didn't really enjoy it. Yeah, so don't, don't bother. Don't waste your time with that. Godzilla minus one is not, and I will say this, not the best Godzilla film. It's number three in my mind behind King of the Monsters and Shin Godzilla. Um, it just does not have enough monster. Um, and, that, and it's a great experience. Um, visually, it's stunning. Sonically, it's stunning. Just not enough Godzilla. Yeah, maybe that's a nitpick, but you know what? When you love Godzilla, you want to see Godzilla. Um, the human characters definitely help you get through that. And <clears throat> thankfully, again, I said this earlier, thankfully, again, there is no dubbing. Because dubbing would have destroyed this film. Thank God they did not dub this movie. So, Godzilla... Minus one, three and a half stars on a scale of four. Uh, I think it deserves its Rotten Tomato rating of 97%. If Godzilla's in that for another one or two scenes of destruction, it's 100%. It's a four. Um, there's not a lot of destruction in this film. Um, what you see in the trailers is pretty much it. Um but don't let that dissuade you from seeing this. This is a tremendous film, and any Godzilla fan or a fan of, you know, any monster movie should see this movie. It's really good. It's it's just tremendous. Um, just don't see it in that 4XD nonsense where the the, this, the uh, seats are moving. It's blowing air in your ear, and it's, it's really disturbing. Um, so that's my review of Godzilla Minus One. The story is really good. The idea they come up to defeat Godzilla is, is pretty brilliant. Um, and I think you'll all enjoy it.
um, if you don't if you don't like subtitles, don't waste your time because it's subtitled. Wait till it comes out on uh, Blu-ray or whatever it's going to be in the near future, and you know, put a dubbing option on it. I guess I don't know. Uh, there's no way they could have dub dubbed this film and made it look good because the the dialogue is just too intensive. Um, Godzilla minus one. Invest your time and money in it. Um, Hollywood, take note. Toho has found the way to make a movie that's affordable and, most importantly, fun to watch. Godzilla minus one. Three and a half stars on a scale of one through four. The third best Godzilla movie of all time. Check it out. Thank you.